So Jonathan's taking me to dinner because, well, maybe this isn't why, but I'm going to Jamaica in, what, four days? On Oh my gosh, my seatbelt's not on. And you're driving and you didn't even check? That's crazy. You're an adult. Wow. Ladies, don't be like me. Marry a man who makes sure your seatbelt is clicked before he drives off. Anyways, Jonathan probably just feels guilty because he, guess who's not coming on the family vacation to my grandfather's 90th birthday in Jamaica. Money done. This guy here. You know someone asked us for two hundred dollars. If you're that person, we love you, and we to hope be, you still continue watching our videos. We are not rich. To be fair, <laughs> we're not rich. To be fair, I didn't fully open the message, <clears throat> the message, because I didn't want it. Because on Instagram, I really need them to get the feature where you can open a message and it doesn't say red or seen or whatever. I'm sure you can turn that but on. maybe she would just like LOL. Just kidding. I don't know. Maybe there was an LOL JK after. But we're um, not. Yeah, I we're, we're, we're really not. I would $200 love to buy, is a lot of money, you guys. Like, out of nowhere. I'm not saying we won't, we don't bless people. Though. We'd be blessing people. Though, like. it's, it, it, it depends, <clears throat> excuse me, it depends on the season. Like, right now, we are spending a lot of money on certain things. And to be honest, I'll be so honest. If this trip wasn't for my grandfather's 90th birthday party, and I just, honestly, I, I don't, like God for like I hope <laughs> okay I hope he lives much longer but I don't know if this is gonna be the last time we're all together as a family again I probably would not have gone because this trip is so expensive for three days I'm actually like I want to throw up with how much money we spent on this trip but anyways oh my god I gotta tell you what my mom told me off camera I'll tell you hey that parking is nasty uh, why did you make that face? It doesn't look that bad on camera, but ew. Can you please give me the key? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Slow and steady. We are live. <laughs> we're having a grand time. Just tell them about the time we're having. So, it's almost been an hour since we've been here, and we only have drinks, but she also did tell us. She told us up front, hey, it's gonna be a long time. If you had to choose between being rich and your head was the size of my fist, or being poor, dirt poor, living on the street, but you were the finest man alive, which one would you choose? So in this scenario, my head, head's the size of a fist? Yes, fist head, small head disease. And you still love me with the fist head? No, I'm not a factor, because I'm not here. You're not here. Okay, so I would be a fist head and be rich. Really? I don't understand the, her fist head thing. She recently, <laughs> she just came up and she was like, if my head was the size of a, a fist, <laughs> would you still love me? And I'm like, are, are you insane? I think my wife's insane. Honestly, are you really married? Or are you really a wife or a girlfriend if you don't ask your husband scenarios? Like, would you be with me if I had one toe? Like, you, it's part of the process, you know? It's part of love. You ask your husband or boyfriend questions, would you be with me if? And you want to know his answer. And Jonathan said he would be with me if my head was the size of a fist. So, black power. Power to you, babe. Huh? Huh? He wasn't listening to me. All right, goodbye. Would you rather never you. play a game ever again or never stream anything? YouTube, Netflix, anything. I'm going to answer this with a song. I don't want to play game. Does that answer your question? Okay, one more because we're, we're dragging this. But it's because we've been here for an hour and we don't have our food yet. If we were at the edge of a cliff and you had to save one of my brothers, <laughs> which one are you saving, Matthew or LeVon? They both have three kids and are married. Which one are you saving, Matthew or LeVon? You have to choose. I say take me instead. No, you have to choose. For my love for no, my nieces and nephews. You have to choose. You have to choose. She said I have to choose, and I refuse to choose. All right, choose off camera. <laughs> All right, if I choose, if I'm just thinking like I have to choose, like I have to, like I just have to, I'm gonna choose. I would have said the same thing. Would you rather have a spouse but no personal friends, or have no spouse? but have friends. You know the answer to this. I love my friends, but I can't. I can't keep up. <laughs> Spouse all day. You are my friend, 
So it's kind of like I have both still. Jonathan's yawning. Turn, turn the camera. <laughs> Spouse and no friends, easy. If you had to choose for the rest of your life, you have sex for the rest of your life and no food, or food for the rest of your life and no sex with your wife. Also, keep in mind, thank you. Also, keep in mind, if you choose food, your wife technically doesn't get to have sex either unless she's cheating. And by she's, I don't mean me, because I would never cheat, because black women don't cheat. So, for this <laughs> for this food thing, like, am I, like, not hungry? Oh, you're hungry. I'm just hungry? You, I'm, uh, like, forever hungry, but, like, you don't starve. I just, I'm just for, hungry for the rest of my life, but I won't or, die. Or you're just horny for the rest of your life, but you can't. No sex, sorry. No, hungry for the rest of my life is crazy. I'm sorry. Look at her face. That's cool, Brandy. Look at her what face. About me? What about you, nigga? What about me? I'm hungry. <laughs> so where does that leave me exactly, like sex-wise? So we're bo we're either both hungry. Okay, so according to the rule book, because these aren't my rules, but according to the rule book, this only, like, this is your decision. So like, I can have sex and I can eat. This is a you thing. So this has nothing to do with you. No, this is a you decision. So by you choosing not to have sex, obviously as your wife, I'm not going to have sex because I'm not gonna cheat on you, but I'm just letting you know that now I'm left with wants and needs that are not being fulfilled by my husband, but because you wanna eat pork chops. Guys, look what happened to my water. Like, it used to be clear, but as soon as my lip gloss touched it, it turned into this disgusting, I don't know, what would you call that? Thank you for coming to our game show. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I'm actually very proud of myself. It's 6.58, I just came back from the gym. I went to the gym on a Saturday evening. Hello? Wait, what time does evening start? Cause it went at like 5.30, is that evening or is that like afternoon? What time does evening, whatever. Anyways, I went to the gym and usually whenever Jonathan's not home, like not during the week, like on the weekend and he's like not home or something, I feel like, okay, this is my time to like truly be free. But I decided to use some of my free time to go to the gym, hello? Because <laughs> one thing about me, I'm gonna gain some weight, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I got some of these like immunity shots because I'm going on vacation in, okay, Saturday, in four days, and I get sick every vacation, and somebody said on the last time that before my vacation comes up, I need to start taking some, like, elderberry and, like, immunity things, so I was like, let me get myself together. I'm gonna start off with this one. It's also my nails. I need to get my nails done. I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, they're growing out real bad. But let's take an immunity shot. And I was with my niece, no, I, yeah, I was with my nieces and my nephews today. My nephew's is coughing all in my face and said, hey, I rebuke you. Get out of my face. Mmm. Ooh. Got a little spice to it. I actually really like these, so let's put these in the fridge. Also, I got these vitamin holders. They say like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I got these for Jonathan and I because we kind of been slacking on taking our vitamins. Ever since we've been back from California, we've been doing a better job, but I was like, I feel like having these, all the vitamins just ready for us to take will help. So gonna do those. Got some bananas, got some salad because I ate a 10 piece nugget and a large fry for lunch with so much sauce. And I'm just like, Jess, please control yourself. So I'll make this in a second. We have salmon in the fridge, so that's gonna be for dinner. And then I'm gonna chop up some potatoes for Jonathan. Jonathan's on like a potato kick right now, so he loves having potatoes. Now let me play the two songs that have had me in a chokehold lately. So what is by Madison Ryan Ward? I don't think it's new, probably not new, but this song has had me in a choke. Even if I Lately, I've had a desire to like get in the studio and make like R&B worship. Is it worship music if it's R&B? I don't know. I mean, it's still Christian music, but I don't know if that is classified as worship music. Like you can't sing this for praise and worship. It, maybe you can, I don't know. But like I've had like a little bit of an itch to like get in the studio and make songs for the girlies who are trying to get into Christian music, but like want to find a specific sound. I'm, I don't know, I've been like, I've had an itch, but I'm 
I'm still scarred from being rejected, babes. Okay, here's the second one. Now this is a worship song. It's on Elevation's new album. And when I say it's choke. I'm gonna ch the choke of all chokes with this song. And I don't know if it's because it like speaks to me because of like how my life is or if it's just because the song is so fire, but. Jesus, I was tossed in the water, but I never went under because you were always on top. Whoo, we gonna have some church, child. All right, let's fill these up. Let's get all the vitamins that I take. One, two. So these will be for Jonathan. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, hello, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh. Saturday. Y'all, this rain is crazy and the craziest thing. Thank you, God, glory to God. I literally got home right before it started pouring. I don't know if I ended up getting a few drops on my shirt. No, I look in the clear, but I could tell, I'm like, I need to get inside right now before it starts pouring. But y'all, look at this. We need a new glass door because why? Not there's water in here. Can y'all see that? That's, um, that's not good. We gotta work on that. I'm not gonna lie. I leave to Jamaica, today's Monday. I leave to Jamaica in 48 hours, like a little less than 48 hours actually. And like I said, I just got back home. I just got my passport. Just got my passport, okay? Brand spanking new, crispy, not a stamp in here. Your girl, I, I really need to get on my job. Like it's way too last minute for me to be playing with my life like that after I spent so much money on this trip. But also, I don't remember if I told you guys what happened with uh, my original passport or like, let me get my thoughts together. So originally I had mailed in my passport like almost nine, like eight, seven, eight weeks ago. And then I got it back. I got the like the package back and I felt that my passport was in there and I was like, okay, cool. I got it back. I'm ready. I'm good to go. No worries. And I wanted to open it with you guys on camera since, you know, I dropped it off with you guys. I wanted to complete the story. You know, vlogging is all about a storyline. So I was like, I told you guys a passport needs to be re redone because I changed my last name. I showed you guys me putting it together. I showed you my passport picture. Uh, did I show you guys me dropping it off? I don't remember, but I was like, okay, let me show you guys when I get my new one. So when I got it in the mail, I was like, okay, I'll open it in a little bit, but I want to vlog it. Weeks go by and I forget. And then the other day, like the Holy Spirit was like, I think you should open that package to see, just to make sure, at least make sure every all the information is correct. So I opened the package. There's a letter attached to it saying, hello, Mrs. Wallace. And the first word said like, unfortunately. And I was like, oh, or like, sorry for the inconvenience or something like that. I was like, oh, this is not good. I said our trip is in a week and a half. What am I to do? So. Whatever. Got it in the nick of time. Here are the things that I have yet to do for a trip that is in less than 48 hours. I gotta get my nails done. These nails honestly might end up with me in Jamaica. I'm praying they don't, but today's Monday. I don't have an appointment yet and I'm trying to see if somebody can squeeze me in for tomorrow. I'm keeping my hair like this, so no big deal with my hair. I would love to get, you know, a waxine. Would love to get one of those. Uh, no, I have to, because if I'm gonna be wearing bathing suits and whatnot, Waxing for sure. I haven't really bought anything. I don't need that much stuff. I could probably use like one more one piece bathing suit because I think I only have one that fits right now because I don't know what's going on, but like my girls are just, they're, get, they're just getting big. I'm like, please, can you slow down? Like there's no need for that to happen. So like a lot of my bathing suit tops don't fit me anymore. And if I do wear them, I just look extremely busty and like I'm trying to look a certain way. I'm like, no, they just don't fit anymore because my, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're just getting bigger and bigger. So I need like two more bathing suits. Holding all that laundry Saturday night. I need to take it upstairs. <sighs> That's about it. Y'all, I have a nail appointment in less than one hour and I still don't have the address to the suite. Like I'm all for a side hustle for a girl doing her nails at a suite and not a shop. I don't know what the difference is in pay or whatever. Get your side hustle on, but my appointment is in less than an hour and you haven't sent the address yet. Like, 
Ma'am, what's the holdup? I honestly think, let me know if there's any, you know, nail techs or hair um, stylists in here who have their own suite. Like how far or how long ahead, no, how far ahead do you send your client the address? I totally understand why you don't have it on your booking website because you don't want just anyone pulling up to your suite at any time unless you did that down payment. Like if you're not for real, then you're not coming. But it's, it's 10.33, my appointment's at 11.30. Where am I going? How much time do I need to get there? I still don't have an address. I took off a lot of my nails last night. I only have this one, this one, and this one left. It's actually really unhealthy for your nails the way that I did it, but I was like, I don't wanna pay extra for a soak off. So I was like, I'll take them off myself. Oops. I mean, I will go to the Chinese shop right now. Like, that's not what we used to do back in the day. No appointment, pull up to the Chinese shop. Who got a seat open? Fine by me. I don't even want any special designs. I really want a simple, like simple, clear, like nudish, nothing crazy. But I did give a $10 deposit, so. Does that not? Is the $10 not strong enough to get the address? <sighs> Why did my vlog start playing out of nowhere? That scared the crap out of me. Y'all, my appointment is in 10, 12 minutes. Not an address in sight. DM remains unread. My $10 remain in her bank account. Okay, hello? I don't wanna show you the name because you know I'll be putting people on blast, but hey, hey, I was like, hey girl. I sent that at 10.45 a.m. 45 minutes before my appointment. I don't, okay, let me say something. I don't wanna act like black people don't know how to conduct business because that's not true. There are a bunch of professional black people out there. But it's the fact that I continue to try to give my coin to the black business owners and time after time after time, I get disappointed. I know that there are plenty of professional black business owners out there, but there's also so many who are ruining it for everybody else. Because please believe right now, I'm taking my behind to the Chinese shop down the street. Say I won't. And I really don't like to put people on blast. Like I'm not the type to tag someone if their business did bad or like, you know, thing like that. Even though, cause I know what it can do to a business, especially with having a platform, you really, you don't know if you could really like, you could kill someone's business when you have a platform. And I never wanna be the cause of someone's lights going out or someone can't feed their kids or like whatever the case may be. I don't ever wanna be the cause. And I never will be because I'm not gonna tag nobody. Well, I never say never, but I just don't think that's something that I would do, especially over some nails. I'm not about to do that, but damn. That's all I gotta say, but damn. <laughs> whatever. Y'all play too much. Now what I would do is leave a review. Like if she had a page, where I could leave a review, I would leave a review because only people who go there are gonna find it, but I wouldn't put it like on my page. Mm. You know, I've been getting scammed since my wedding. Let's not talk about the wedding dress. Hello? <laughs> Hello everybody. Jess is gonna tell us about how she just got scammed. But I was telling them earlier. Anyways y'all, this is my current situation. I'm trying to <laughs> take the rest of my nails off with this acetone. So I've come up with I've come up with my conclusion. For one, I definitely think that lady was a scammer because like, look, she has all these pictures of nails on her page, right? Look how many comments she has. Like zero, this only has one. Hey, what do I book that these under? N no response. Half of them have no comments. Like not even the girl who like, whose nails it was. It's people like, it's barely any comments. And that is a huge red flag, but I did not look. Oh, this one has five, let's see. Yeah, these are, mm, you know how usually the person whose nails it was would be like, oh, sorry, my boobs are out. Ah, you know how usually the person whose nails it was would like comment under like, thank you so much, these are so cute. Like, look, look how cute these nails are and there's not one comment under here. Am I a serious person for, for allowing myself to get scammed? And the thing is, her down payment is only $10. So it's like, it's not enough for people to like get riled up about and sue her or like do anything crazy. So she's smart. Honestly, this is a business that I could get into. Like. I don't think that's a bad idea. What do you think? Yeah, she's smart. And you know what? She deserves my $10 because I'm the dummy. I'm the dummy. Am I the dummy? Am I the dummy, babe? You're not a dummy. Like, but a little bit though? No, you, uh, well, how'd you find this person? Hashtags. And she uses 10,000 hashtags under each. 
Because she was like, y'all going to find me. Look how many hashtags she uses under each picture. She's like, you're you going to find me. You got God. I got finessed crazy. <laughs> no wreck, bro. Uh, how are you doing stuff no wreck these days? <laughs> because it was so last minute and everyone who, w- some people were recommending, but they're like, oh, she's like, she's busy. And this is so last minute. I don't know why I decided to do this so last minute. Well, actually, the reason I decided to do it last minute is because I also wanted my nails to be nice for camp, and I didn't want to do my nails too early for Jamaica, and by the time we get to camp, they look like the way they look right now. Press on, game. I don't want to... Press on to camp is crazy. I catch one basketball, and my nails are all off. Am I going to play basketball? No. Nah, uh, watching all your nails fall off would be really funny. <laughs> it's like chatter. I don't have a supportive husband, you guys. Here Y'all, I just did... An unboxing today because I am gonna do a giveaway, but look how much stuff is on the floor. <laughs> I think my husband following me. <laughs> no, my wife had all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain. All look right. at all these things. I got so much stuff. The one that shocked me the most. Not Fenty Skin cares about me for real. Like Rihanna. Hello. I got some good stuff. I got some Fenty Skin. Got some more La Roche. What else? Oh, Dermalogica. I got some Dermalogica. I got some good stuff, you guys. And um, my wife had all this on the table for a month. I did. It was all sitting on that table for a long time. I'm like, can we please get our dining room table back? I know. And I was like, since I'm going to Jamaica, I feel like once I come back, Jonathan would have been put all that stuff on the side road and told everyone, like, hey, Garage sale, come and get it. So I was like, let me do this before I leave. But it's so much stuff. So I'm like, I don't have a choice but to do a giveaway because where is all that stuff gonna go? But anyways, this is my current situation. Flight is in, I gotta be at the airport in 12 hours. That's crazy. Seven? My flight's at 10. So I should be there at eight. No, seven. Seven? You wanna, you wanna be vibing. I do wanna be vibing. Guys, I'm gonna miss my wife. I know. <sighs> Anyways, sorry about my bad luck. Yeah, so this is my fault. I'm gonna, like, I wanna take responsibility, so I'm going to. That's it. All right, y'all, breaking news. So the lady just responded to my DM. Um, Eight hours later, she said, Hey, Jessica, I'm sorry I did not see your booking. I usually check on Sunday nights and send out texts, but I missed yours. Are you available to come this Sunday? No, and I want my money back. Anyway, moving forward. I don't know why I'm the most like ill-prepared queen on the planet, but we're going to the mall now. Jonathan has been so kind to come with me because I just need one, I just need one thing. I need a dress for my grandfather's birthday party. It's gonna be on the rooftop. Um, yeah, it's gonna be on a rooftop in Jamaica. So like I need a dress that is, it doesn't have to be short. And by short, I don't mean like, you know, coochie cutter, but like, I prefer not a, like a long tight, you know, like a wedding type of dress. Like I don't want anything satin or silk. Like I want something like flowy. So either long and flowy or like shorter and like frilly, or I don't know, something that is breathable. So like if there's any breeze, it can go where it needs to go. And I don't own any dresses like that. So, so yeah, we're gonna go find one now. To give vacation like island be for real no i'm so serious no way you're serious <laughs> it's like island no way she's serious it's like for island she's serious okay oh my god no i really thought wow but you're not catching the vision though wow. it's like an island rooftop vacation i want something. wow he's not catching the vision y'all bye oh, i thought you were joking it's kinda... the thing is i'm never gonna wear this again or did you guys know they're reopening charlotte roots this brings me back to oh, this literally brings me back to when I was like 16. Or is it supposed to be like this? Because they're all like that. Guys, Jonathan doesn't like this. Isn't this cute? This is the perfect dress for air to go up. You know, like, and I can dance. Why don't you like this? No reason. A simple man. This isn't simple. What is it, like this frilly part? Right? I just, I don't know. It just doesn't, doesn't sing to me. These are the vibes. They're just very cute and simple. This is literally exactly what I was gonna get anyways. I was probably gonna get a different shape, but I just wanted extremely, 
Oh, my throat was so dry. Extremely simple nails. So that's what we have after all that commotion and ruckus. Anyways, child, it's 1.30 in the morning. I haven't even started packing yet. I still have a full face of makeup on. <laughs> um, The past like two hours, because I don't remember if I said this, but I decided to do a PR unboxing today because Jonathan had been begging me to get all of my PR off the dining table and rightfully so. I'm like, ew, this looks crazy. But like anytime I get one at the door, I just put it on the dining table because I've been meaning to record a PR unboxing. And I was like, I don't wanna leave all of these here. I wanna record it before I leave so that I have some content to post also while I'm gone. So I did all that and I don't remember if I recorded the mess that it left. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like we had this conversation already but it left the biggest mess. So I broke down all the boxes and I put like all the PR in categories and I am so excited to show you guys because literally 70% of this, yeah, if not 80, is going to be part of the giveaway. So let me show you guys. Like, look at all this stuff. This, like, what? Oh, it's still going. That is crazy. Like, we got some milk makeup. We've got Peach and Lily. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna keep this Golden Glaze body oil but the other two were given away. We got some La Roche-Posay, and this is not going anywhere. This Dr. Dennis Gross. This is like a $75 thing, so I think I'm gonna take a few of these out and then I'll disperse some of the rest. Got the lip bar. I got so much finery PR, like a box of all of their stuff. I'm gonna keep a few of these, but I'm gonna give most of them away. Um, Hello, Fenty. I ain't gonna lie, these are the ones I'm giving away. I got like some Fenty lip oil stuff. I'm like, are you guys serious? We got a lot of skincare, a lot, a lot of skincare. And there's a bunch of hair care products that I have upstairs that I'm also gonna be giving away. I have a lot of hair care products. I'm excited to do a giveaway. I'm not gonna lie, I've already picked, well, I picked two winners, but one of them, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to give her the stuff because she is out of, what am I trying to say? I was gonna say out of sea, overseas, out of the country. And I don't know how much extra it costs to send over there. I told her I would check. Um, I think I said like, if it's like not any more than $30, I'm like, all right, I got you. But I think I can have at least five or six winners, maybe more. So I just wanted to show you guys, cause like, this is crazy. This is so much stuff. This has to be like a $800 value. I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe more, honestly, maybe more. A little while ago, I was just like, damn, I don't ever get no PR. That's crazy. Shout out to God. Okay, so now it's time. I'm gonna put all this stuff in a box that I have over there and conceal it and bring it upstairs. And then I need to try on some of the stuff that I got. And then we're gonna pack, we're gonna pack. Okay. This camera's also about to die, it's crazy. Hello you guys, so I have made it to Jamaica. Unfortunately, I'm not with my husband. I'm very, very sad about it. Can I tell you how when he dropped me off this morning at the airport, I bawled my eyes out? Look, one thing about me, I wanna be around my man. I wanna be around my man, okay? But it's a family vacation. We're here for my grandfather's 90th birthday. I'm gonna give you guys a room tour and stuff tomorrow. We just got settled in. It's been a very long travel day, even though Jamaica's only two hours away. It's been a long day, but I just wanted to say hey, and um, we'll get into it a little bit more tomorrow. Good morning. Uh. <laughs> wow. Hold on, let me pray for my food. I give you praise, glory, and honor. Thank you for this food. Amen. Um, so I'm back from Jamaica. Uh, sorry. Y'all, I ain't getting zero. I got zero Jamaica footage. Zero. Zero, 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 zero. Let me tell you why. Um, one, it was just not, I, this sounds horrible. It was not like, I just, uh, I just couldn't do it. I, first of all, the only, the only time I felt like I was having like a really, really, really good time is when we were in the, all the, what? Is when we were like all in the pool together and this camera is not waterproof and I didn't have anyone to record for me because we were all in the pool. I don't know. Maybe if you want to catch some footage, you might have to watch my brother's vlog. 
But one thing about my brother, he don't put vlogs out until like four months later, so good luck with that. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I did, This was not my favorite trip. This was, wasn't my favorite trip. And not only not because Jonathan wasn't there, even though that had a huge thing to do with it, but it was just hard to like get everyone together because everyone had like their own families, which as they should, you know, they're with their kids. And um, it was just hard to get everyone together. Kids are screaming, you know, kids are cranky. All of their kids are like super young. Okay. Like, for the most part, they're like five and under. Kids are screaming, they're cranky, they're hot, they're hungry, they're tired. And it was like a lot of my cousins just being parents because they are. So not that much adult time. A lot of me unteeing, being auntie, helping out. And since I was one of the only people there without kids, you know, you get used a lot more. <laughs> anyway, mm. it was good. But anyway, overall, it was nice to be with my family. Celebrate my grandfather's 90th birthday. That was nice. And I can't lie. I did not y'all, I did not know y'all was outside in Jamaica. I met so many subscribers. Okay, so many is strong. But I met like five or six subscribers while I was in Jamaica. And that was very cool. Shout out to y'all. But yeah, now we're back. I got back Sunday. Today's Tuesday and we're leaving again today to go to camp. My suitcase still has Jamaica stuff in there, but thankfully we don't have to leave until about six and it's only 11. So plenty of time to get myself together. I need some salt. Y'all hear how loud these pants are? Jonathan made me try on his pants and I haven't taken them off yet. Look who it is, that's your favorite. Guess who's back? Fresh haircut, Johnny in the building. It's not fresh anymore, it's a week now. You guys, I'm reunited with my man. And what? I feel so good. <laughs> Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Reunited with my man, it feels so good. But we're about to be like low key separated again. Kind of, pretty, kind of separated. We're like, we won't be sleeping together obviously at camp because I'm a counselor, Jonathan's a counselor. And I'll be with my girls, with his guys, but we are on the worship team together. So we'll see each other every now and then. But I love seeing Jonathan at camp because it's kind of like, it's kind of like seeing your crush at school. It's kind of like you're excited for those times where you know you're going to get to see them, but for the most part... Wait, where are we going? We're on Target? No. Walmart's not this one. I actually... Well... Oh, there is a Walmart over there. I was thinking about the one over there. Okay. Well, if we're going to go this way, we might as well go to Target. No? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, be at camp with Jonathan. It's kind of like seeing your crush in between classes or like wondering when you're going to see them. So anyways... I don't know, I'm trying to find, make make it fun. <laughs> but yeah, going back to where we first met. What color car do you want? All right y'all, we at Walmart. I'm gonna give you guys my best effort because you deserve it. There you go. And I just want you to know that you are wanted by Jesus. Amen, babe. Christ. And the choice is that you should make oh. is to Accept him into your heart. Come on, Pastor. That's good. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna preach uh, whatever. That's new amen, you guys. That's good. You see, he will wash you white as snow. Am I right? <laughs> Heart's white. Are you picking, picking up and preaching? <laughs> yeah. <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> so you see. Wait, we really should do picking up and preaching here. Okay, I, no. I want to do that. That's a good idea. You see, right now, mm -hmm. this cart is empty. Yep. All right, but as we as we go mm -hmm. we need to it shows that we need to have empty hearts mm -hmm. as we approach the throne room of god because if we're filled with all this stuff that is not of god uh -huh. then he can't refill it Ooh. with the new things Ooh. in which we are walking into Ooh. Ooh, that's good baby <laughs> let's go <laughs> oh wait actually you know how the theme is memes i was thinking we could do our meme together and we could just do this one you have a black sweatshirt yeah. So I just need a green one and put two balls on the top. Oh, a green hoodie. That's, that's perfect. It's good, right? <laughs> that's perfect! <laughs> but you gotta pick something up for me to preach about. All Not right. in this aisle, though. Don't do me dirty. <laughs> pick it up and preach. It says that you are to put on the whole armor of God. And this here is the breastplate of righteousness. What does that mean? It's just like the armor. It's armor. Yikes! <laughs> armor. It's failure. It's armor though. I'm not in the army. I'm in the Lord's army though. <laughs> you, just said, you just said a bunch of spiritual words. <laughs> I'm in the Lord's army. All right, I got you. Your turn. This is hard. This is heavy to pick up. All right, babe. Lysol? Ah, preach about it. 
You gotta get your car out the way. <laughs> you see, mm -hmm. this is Lysol. <laughs> And it has cleaning power. Oh, you it's see, too easy. It is too easy. <laughs> you see, you have stains. We all have stains on our lives uh -huh. that, you know, that stop us from reaching our full potential. But the power <laughs> in the blood of the lamb, the Ooh, power we'll of Jesus, is that no matter what your toughest stain is, that it can wash it clean. Clean. No, then I'm about to eat you, right? You're so good. So <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness, what was that? Ooh, ooh, get him. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get serious now, though. What are you see. getting for your boys? I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna get somebody. Yeah. Watch the cameras behind you. No. <laughs> Do you see it? No, I don't even see it. Oh. oh. Hey! <laughs> hey! Bro, what a deal. There's no way. For this big thing? Ain't no way, bro. We'll turn up. And just I love you. When you're editing the best. Back, no, I love you. And you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, babe. What do you have there? Duck tape. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when we have things in our lives that are broken, mm -hmm. we try to get the quick way to the quick way to fix it. And, mm -hmm. and this duct tape represents that quick way. Mm -hmm. When things are falling apart, we try to just like, uh, let me just try my best here. Let me just try my best here. But what we don't need is duct tape. What we need is a brand Ooh. new system, Ooh. a whole new, a whole new thing. This duct tape is not going to cut it. And you can walk into your new life because God wants to give you a whole new thing. Come on, just mic drop. <laughs> Get this out of my face. No duct tape. No duct tape, baby. Why are we playing this game? I can't. So we're here for a cooler. Let me tell you one thing. The boys' cabins always have like more fun than the girls' cabins. And one year, it is my mission to make sure that that is not the case. But that's not going to be this year because I'm extremely ill prepared because I just came back from camp. I mean, Jamaica. No, we always have more stuff. Yeah, we have more stuff. But you guys are good at finding nothing and making it everything. <laughs> it's like we're always like, what are the boys doing over there? Like, why do they sound like they're having so much fun? Why is that? Why do guys get along like easier and faster than girls? Or do you think that's not true? Let me know. You think it's too big? It's not too big. Yeah, it's kind of large. Babe, why would you get that one? There's one on top. <laughs> With the young men, this is why you need a young lady in your life. That's Hello. Gonna tell you that you're a jackass. <laughs> Cause you're the one for me, the way you make me feel. I'm buying this game for the girls. This game is really fun. If you ain't tapped in, you gotta <laughs> tap in and get it. Okay, sorry, mind the way. <laughs> Pick up and preach. This is hard. He gave me the hard one. This is bubbles. All right, bubbles. Bro, Jesus' love is a bubbling over. <laughs> Hallelujah. Period. All right. The Johnny takeover continues, and we are at my one of my favorite stores. Sam Bam. Sam Bam. We got to get some stuff for the kiddos. You know what I mean? And uh, let's have some fun. What are you getting? Like snacks and candy? Oh, they have chewies in here. <gasps> the s'mores ones? Oh yeah. Wow, that's a crazy box too. Uh, pop Cheeses and Pop Tart bites? And Rice Krispies and Pringles? I feel like a kid at a candy store. I am excited. We're doing good. We're doing very good. What you won't do? <laughs> right? You let them kids. <laughs> Y'all, I got my eyebrows done today and why did she take off so much? I need to find an eyebrow lady who doesn't hate me. That's crazy. That's actually insane. I mean, like, they look crisp. But it's a little too, like, I can, bro, I need to go back to Port St. Lucie, bro. Like, I had all my systems in place over there. I had my eyebrow lady. I had my nail lady. I had my wax lady. Like, oh, they're just really skinny. They're just much skinnier than I um would want them to be. But whatever. Time to pack. It's packing time yet again. I'm going to help Jonathan pack, too, because he's out right now getting some last-minute stuff done. And we need to leave the house in about three hours to get to the church because my husband's in charge of the buses so he needs to be there when the buses come so now i'm also thinking i really wanted this vlog to be up today because there's no way i'm gonna be able to edit at camp or even upload at camp there's no way but it doesn't look like it so yeah anyways i'm just gonna get to packing and then maybe it'll be the end of this vlog who knows with me anymore i don't know what's going on but let me do me and my husband a little favor and get to packing oh we need our bibles enjoy this moment it's the day that the lord has
So we got back from camp yesterday, and our voices both sound crazy. We got <laughs> And we have uh, not really much footage at all. Time for Jess to get back to work. I don't really care what she says. I she's got to, to make it either. She's got to make us some money. <laughs> because I'm just using her for her money. <laughs> Remember? Remember? Shout out to you who said that, bro. <laughs> Shout out to you. I don't have anything to say, really. I just love my wife. Oh, you don't have no shirt. I'm not showing anything, though. Mm, I didn't know OnlyFans. We're both so tired. Putting you for no reason. Mm -hmm. When I vlog, you get the real behind the scenes. The okay. real behind the scenes, the stuff, the stuff that just want to cut out. But I'm like, this is what the people want to see. This is what the people want to see. And she don't even know that. It's so boring. She don't even know that. This is what they want to see. They want to see this in our real element. Jonathan just wants y'all to hear his voice. How raspy it is. You see, she's trying to cut me off. I turn the lights off. <laughs> but I thought I told you that we don't stop. That's when you get a sandwich out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one, just. There's only one. There's only one. It's only one, just. Only one.